Okay, I'm just gonna start the video because I've been at this for like an hour. Is that, you know when you, you know when you haven't socialized in a really, really long time, like you haven't left the house and then you don't know how to be a person, you don't know how to socialize? That's how I feel right now, but with filming, it's been a minute. So, anyway, so let's just, let's just start. I got you something. I got you a tiny, tiny, tiny shoe. I got you a tiny shoe. Just one though. Also, if you scan this, it takes you to a game. I just tried it. Scan to play. I just tried it, but it was like, this has photosensitive yada yada, and so I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna include that in the video. So, here you go if you wanna play. Well, actually, if I were to trace this accurately, it would be C R Happy Meal C S. Cr Happy Meals. Do you want to see what shoe you got? Okay, well, hold on, because I really want to do these little squishes. That was supposed to be a flute, but it was really bad. I'm telling you, I don't know how to do this right now. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably just about as the same as all my other videos, but whatever. What in the hell is on my nails? Anyway, let's see what's in here. I didn't like that sound. It's tissue paper! We've got a little crog and it's got some stickers so you can decorate it like it's like little crog gibbets. so funny. I wanted to make this a trigger for a minute and I actually brought an actual croc and forgot that I was doing the little bitty croc. This is not sponsored at all. So I thought these were going to be like rubber material, which is really nice, but it's not. It's just hard plastic. That's nice though. Not as nice as it would have been if it was rubber, though. And I really wanted the little red one, but this is the one I got. No offense, little guy. What do you think this smile is trying to say? Like, what is this look? Hmm. You hear in the distance a like little meow kind of meow. That's my Siamese cat. They meow funny. Okay, I'm gonna just like while we're on theme here, I'll show you my cool stompers. Oh, see, this is the sound. This is the material. This is getting really bright. Whatever. Let me see if I can fix that so it's not so bright. No, because then it gets all fucky. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Sorry, y'all. Maybe if I'm back here. This, this really upped the brightness on the video for whatever reason, but I really don't want to mess with it. Last time I messed with it, it was a disaster. I'm gonna mess with the video, guys. I'm gonna mess with the exposure. I am gonna do it. Let's see. Please don't be bad. 
it's cute. It's cute. It's nice. Nice contrast. A little bit darker for you, so easier to fall asleep to. I also have some Lisa Frank ones that I gotta show you. You know what's so stupid? That, like, I used to be a croc hater because I thought they were ugly and dumb. And then the first step was putting one on and being like, wow, this is actually extremely comfortable, but I'm still a hater. They're dumb. And then I, like, got over myself and was like, you know what? These are kind of fun. And the yellow ones, the OGs, they look like duck feet and that's cute. So, and I love a platform. Do you have anything that you were like that about that you like hated and then you ended up loving? in previous videos, sorry about that. Um, but I love this guy. I don't know what happened there. It smells really good too. I feel like some would argue that it's actually a kind of a bad smell, but I like it. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like overly sweet butter. I don't know. this for that channel I talked about where I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna do, like, sounds, no talking, whatever. Like, an overhead shot situation is what I'm thinking. It's taken me a long time, mostly because I wanted to be, like, the kind where there's just sounds, no talking, and so, like, the audio is very clean, but I live in a very corroded neighborhood, and also my immediate neighbors are the worst people in the world, so... I don't know what's gonna happen for me. Like, would you watch a channel where it's like, oh, do you know those channels I'm talking about, those ASMR channels that are like over the head shots or all slightly overhead shots of like just hands and then they're doing like triggers with very asmr -y things and the gain's really high and you just hear all the little intricacies of the sounds, you know what I'm, I'm talking about? Would you watch something like that, but the sound isn't as clean because there might be like a little bit of background sound and maybe sometimes you might hear me breathing and sometimes you might hear my tummy growl? Like, would you actually genuinely watch that? Not like, do you like my channel and therefore you would support, but like, it's some rando, let's say it's some rando. Would you watch it? Let me know. <laughs> I want to know if it's worth making, because I know sometimes ASMR artists are like, oh, I really want to do this thing or that thing, but there's background sounds, or this isn't perfect, or yada yada, and I'm, like, watching the video being like, please do it, please do it, please do it, that would be so great, who cares if it's not perfect, but when it's me, when it's yourself, it's a lot more difficult to be totally okay with that. And I remember before starting my channel, I would be like, why do these people care so much? Like, just do your thing. And now I'm one of those people that cares so much. Like, I feel like also my channel used to be a lot messier. And I want to bring some of that back. I really want to bring some of that back. Like, try not to edit things. We're going to see if I can manage to not edit this. Or at least not cut this. Um, 
I think I'll edit it for sound sake, like I don't want to hurt your ears since I'm using the mic. I don't know if something's going to be too intense, but yeah. Oh, look at my cute little denim vest. What would you wear this with? Or what do you think I should wear this with if you wouldn't wear this? to grab things from around the house so I wasn't just using like the typical ASMR triggers that I usually use. So let's see. Oh, I got this little bracelet. This is from Colombia, my homeland. You want to see what's on it? Let's look through every single one. Maybe. I don't know that I have the patience for that, actually. Here's a closer look. Let me change the focus. glasses case also because I thought it kind of made nice sounds like I really just tried to see what I could find throughout my house it does I hadn't done like this on it I only did like and it was on the table and I did like that or something but this is awesome I always place it under my chin because it makes me hold it better I'm not like I don't know. I don't know if anyone was questioning why I did that, but just in case. Do you have a customer service voice? And is it like at least an octave higher than your actual speaking voice? I used to work as a server, and when I tell you I was one of the worst servers in the world, like, I'm not cut out for that. I was really good at being, like, a food runner slash coordinator. That was awesome. I loved coordinating everyone, like, here, you do this, you do that, we're gonna move this way. Like, really helping with the flow that was so good for my brain. And I also didn't have to interact with the customers, which is, like, the best, because I just, like, I just was not cut out for that, especially back then when I was doing it, I was way shy. So like to have to talk to a little table of strangers every few minutes while they just look up at you and they're hungry? No. No. The exercising and the coordinating and the grabbing of the food, all of that, doable for me. The social aspect of it? Absolutely not. Oh my god, it was so bad. It was sometimes I would straight up stutter so bad that I would give up on what I was saying. And luckily, like, the place that I worked at was pretty loud. So I would just do a thing where I would mumble just below the music so it, they just thought maybe that they didn't hear me correctly. But really, it's like I couldn't find words. So I would just make something that sounded like words and leave. It was so bad. It was so bad. Like, I had to have been so cringe. But you know what? I survived. So, sometimes we're cringe and we survive. And sometimes we're cringe and it ends up making us happier. Like, when I started this channel, I felt like I was being so cringe. And 
sure in some ways I was, and I'm sure in some ways I'll look back at things, which I do not do. I'll look back at things on my channel and be like, that's cringe as fuck, but who cares? Like, I'm having a good time, and now I get to do this for a living, and it's because I got over the fact that it was cringe. Or that I thought at the time it would be perceived cringe. Now I don't really think it's cringe. And also, if you don't cringe at your younger self, are you growing, you know? Summer Shani, who's a good friend of mine. ASMR Shani. Also, oh my god, wait, I want to shout out her new channel. She made a new channel, which is like conspiracies and like ooh, things like that. That was like a way really, just like a really bad description. Ooh, whatever. Ooh. But anyway, what is happening to me right now? <laughs> Too many thoughts at the same time. Okay, anyway. <laughs> she started a new channel and I want to shout out the new channel. <laughs> it's called Conspiracy. So, like, spell a T, but like conspiracies and stuff. She made one about Area 51. I was hooked. I love those kinds of videos. I also really like that at the end she was like, what are some logical explanations for this? Also, oops. Oh, oh my god. Also, it's really fun to think about these things this way, but how about this perspective? Like, it was really, really cool. So, go check that out. Ooh, I'll link it in the description. <laughs> and I'll link her ASMR channel as well. Okay, I gotta wipe my nose, bro. I laughed. And you know when you, like, exhale out your nose and then it's like, it, it's a lot? Does that make sense? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, um, as I was saying, oh yeah, I celebrated my 30th birthday and it was fun. And then the week after, we went horseback riding. Me and my wife went horseback riding, but she's very small. <laughs> So, she was too small for a horse and ended up so sore. But honestly, I'm so- I'm super sore and I'm actually quite tall, so I can't even imagine. But like, I'm still exhausted from it and I definitely want to start doing it again. I used to horseback ride as a child, as a wee little child in Colombia, I used to horseback ride. And it was- I used to ride this horse that was so dark black that it shined blue. Oh, it was beautiful. Also, one time when I visited Colombia, I was in this little pueblito, and there was this big plaza, and the most Colombian thing in the entire world <laughs> happened, and this horse ran through the plaza, and this guy on a motorcycle was following it with a lasso, like, trying to get it because it must have been his horse that ran off or something. I don't know, but I was like, this is so Colombian, especially in front of the pueblito, like, not in front of the pueblito, within the tiny pueblito, in front of the giant church, in, like, a plaza. Are you kidding? I love Colombia so much. I've been on this one for a while. Interesting.
does my voice sound like like this? It doesn't smell good. It's too much. It was too much. <laughs> what else did I bring? Let's see. Oh, I brought this little chain inside a plastic baggie because I thought that could be kind of cool. Is it going to be cool? I don't know. We'll see. This reminds me of one of, th one of those OG ASMR videos. The barbershop one. Or was it... Was it part of the barbershop one? Or was it the just like the matches one? But it was way back in the day and it was just called like 3D audio. And it was like they lit a match at one point. And, or they're like shaking the matchbook. The matchbox. And they do like this around your head. See what I'm talking about? What's something from like way back in the day, like 10 years or older, uh, ASMR stuff that you miss and wish that was brought back in this day and age? Like what old school ASMR stuff do you wish was still more prominent? start my videos here and end up like this over here in a corner because my back starts to hurt. I should do a video showing you all of my nerd paraphernalia, like my Lola stick from Apex. I also have Xena Warrior Princess's sword. I have a couple guns from Apex, but I don't know if YouTube would make me take that down because it's like a weapon, but it's not real like at all. Especially one of them, you can tell it's very much not real. What else? I haven't, I'm gonna do a video of just my D&D dice because that, that needs a whole video on its own. It's quite a lot. Well, I don't have guns for Mass Effect, but Ronnie does. So I don't know if maybe she'll let me show you those. What else do I have? Like, now I feel like maybe I don't have enough for an actual video. Do I? I'm like looking around my room trying to find stuff. I don't think so, but I was thinking of doing a Nostalgic Triggers video because I have a lot of nostalgic items that I've collected. well before use. Oops. I hadn't done that. Not a single time that I've used this. Maybe like the first time I used it. Oh my god, wait, I forgot I had brought you this. I can't believe I forgot this. I might use 
use this as a thumbnail. We'll see. I should have started with this. If you just heard a stompy noise, that was outside. do in an ASMR video that I want to try. Hold on, I want to credit the channel, so hold on, let me see if I can find it. And if I can, I'll just link it in my description and find it later, but hold on. I saw wait for it. 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 Crap. Crap. Hold on. Wait for it. Oh, okay. The name for the channel is Rinsey ASMR. R Y N S E Y ASMR. I just found one of their videos today and. They did this thing where at the end of the video, they just did like a trigger for the end of it so that they could put like a, what do you call those things? An end screen so you can pick a different video to watch. And I think that's a great idea because I never put end screens on my videos because, well, I feel like it just like, oh, that was so loud because I feel like it just like fucks up the video. Because you're like still in the middle of watching that ASMR and then suddenly like end screen that or you leave like a blank screen for that or some people play music but I'm like this is ASMR I'm not gonna do that but he did a thing where I was like an outro trigger so that there were end screens there because I've always wanted to be able to link to my other videos directly especially if I'm doing like a part two of something or if I'm doing something where I think people will probably want the other video or yada yada but I don't want to like bombard people by being like check out my other video of blah 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 but yeah I mean I guess I could just I think I have just told you to check out a thing but still <sighs> my tummy's probably gonna make a noise every time I drink water my tummy goes anyway so Let's do that. Should we just do it with the ball? Because I feel like this trigger is amazing and I get so distracted by it I don't even talk. So let's 
let's see i'm gonna try it out you tell me how you feel about it and then we'll see if i do it or not okay all right so peace love um i hope you're asleep and this isn't even relevant to you